and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to do a comparison between the NYX On The Rise Volume Mascara and Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift. So this two mascaras claim to hold the curl of your lashes and gives your lashes that lift as if you have had a lash lift. And this is quite a new concept at least for me because usually every time I see mascaras on the market, they advertise them as a mascara that will give your lashes volume or length. But this is the first time I've seen mascaras that are advertised to keep your lashes curled and lift for a longer period of time or give your lashes that lash lift effect. I have short, straight Asian lashes, but when I started using a lash serum, which is this one, I found a huge difference. I found that my lashes are longer and I even found lashes in the corner of my eye at the very end. And I usually don't have hair on that area and I don't know why I used this a lot sooner, but I remember the first time I used a lash serum. It kind of stings and it left a dark line on my lash line as if I have like a brown eyeliner on my lash line or a burnt lash line. But I found this and it's very, very gentle on the eyes. But yeah, if you are curious where to get this, I'm just gonna put the link down below. Now that I have lashes that my mascaras can coat and my mascaras can hold on to, let's test the Maybelline and the NYX mascara. So I'm going to read the claims for the NYX On The Rise Volume Mascara. This mascara catch and coat your lashes in matte black color for quick charge, lift, and volume in just a few strokes. Featuring an innovative applicator shape and an elastomer brush head, the part hourglass, part rounded brush delivers high drama, intense volume, and serious elevation. Case in point, in a clinical study, 95% of participants saw instant volume and 90% saw instant lift. And on the Maybelline side, it says, Get an instant lash lift effect from a mascara. Falsies Lash Lift from Maybelline New York delivers dramatic volume and long lifted lashes. Grab lashes at the root to lift, thicken, and lengthen. No clumps. No smears or flakes, just volume that lasts all day. When it comes to cost, the NYX mascara costs $14, while the Maybelline mascara costs $12.99. So I'm going to use the NYX on my right side and the Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift on the left side. brush actually has that hourglass shape. I don't know if there's already product on the brush. Like I feel like you need to go back and forth. I, I can't see the product. There you go. So that's how it looks like. I don't know about the lift factor because my lashes are going down now. <laughs> but I could say that it made my lashes really thick and full without looking clumpy. So I'm gonna put this on my bottom lash too. I'm gonna use my heated eyelash curler as soon as I feel like this mascara has dried down and then I'm gonna let you know how it looks because right now my lashes is going down. It's not as curled as when I used the eyelash curler on it. On my left side, I'm gonna use the Maybelline. You can see that after curling, my lashes are very lifted here compared to this. I like this already because you can already see the product on the brush. It has the same shape as the NYX. So let's compare the spoolie. They both have an hourglass shape, but this one is more of a brush 
and this one is a rubber. Okay, now let's try the Maybelline. <laughs> I'm speechless because I've never seen a mascara that could hold my curl. Like, it would always make my curl go down. But this one, look, it's still straight. Like, it's not weighing it down. I'm amazed. I'm so amazed. Let me just curl my right side with a lash curler one more time. So now that I've curled the next one, it looks so much better. Um, I just hope that it holds the curl. Now another test to compare this is its wearability. So I'll update you every third hour, every sixth hour, and on the ninth hour. And it'll also update you whether it'll be smudge proof or would it be flaky. The thing that I've noticed the most is that this separated my lashes better than this one. On this side, my lash appears thicker. When it comes to thickness, I think both delivered the same. It's just that this made my lash stick together more and this one really separated them. I think because of the silicone brush. When it comes to length, I feel like both lengthened my lashes the same way but it's more evident on my left side because this held the lift better and I just used the lash curler on my right side and I can really tell that it's actually falling down little by little. They are both lengthening and they are both thickening. It's just that this side with the Maybelline is really keeping its curl. So, so I'll update you in a bit and I'll let you know my verdict after a few hours. Now, when it comes to smudging, smearing, flaking, after an hour, I actually went to bed with my daughter because she wanted to nap. So my face was against the bed. So my lashes were actually touching my under eye. And I found that there's flakiness on both of the under eyes. But I found that the next one has more flakes than the Maybelline one. And it kind of smudged a little on the corner of my eye. That's the only time I had that flakiness and a little smudging. But after that, there were no smudging, there were no flakes. Both mascaras really held well. Both the only thing that I found is that the next one was actually dropping its curl while the Maybelline one was still holding its curl. But I feel like this one looks more volumized because of the separated lashes. Well, this one, although it looks longer, it looks like I don't have a lot of lashes because some of the lashes stuck together. I have to choose between the two, it's so hard. But I have to say my winner is the Maybelline The Falsies Lash Lift. I love that it really held the curl well. And it's true to its claim that you look like you have a lash lift. I also like that even though my lashes were against my face, it didn't flake too much and it sets faster. Plus, this is also a dollar less than the NYX. And for personal preference, I just really like the look of a very curled lash versus a very volumized lash. I just feel like if my lashes were always up and curled, it really looked like I'm awake and I have a bigger eye. So personally, I just really need something that would really hold my curl. But if there's something that I would change with this mascara, I would change the brush. Maybe I'll just get a disposable rubber spoolie so that it doesn't catch a lot of product in this mascara and would help in separating my lashes. Actually, when I had a poll on Instagram at all dialed up by C, if you want to join the poll, don't forget to follow me at alldolled.byc. When I had the poll there, the mascara that I actually won was the next one, 
because I think people like the volume. Again, personally, I want a mascara that would hold my curl. I like my curls really up and I want my eyes to look bigger. So I want a really curled and lifted lashes. But my search for the best drugstore mascaras is not over because I will be testing drugstore mascaras for a week and that will be posted on my next mascara review video. That video would include reviews for Maybelline Lash Sensational, L'Oreal Lash Paradise, CoverGirl Total Tease, and L'Oreal Telescopic. So make sure you hit that notification video, like this video as well, and don't forget to subscribe so you'll always be updated once that new video is out. Thank you so, so much, Dolls, for watching, and I'll see you on my next one. Keep safe, everyone.